Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of space? The cosmos, in its vastness and complexity, holds countless secrets, some of which we've barely begun to explore. Today, we uncover 10 such enigmas, facts about space that might surprise you. From Martian sunsets to the size of the International Space Station, we'll take an intriguing journey through the cosmos, revealing lesser known aspects of the universe we inhabit. Now, let's get ready to dive into some lesser known facts about space. So at number 10, did you know that on Mars, sunsets are blue? Indeed, this red planet, famously recognized for its rusty landscape, presents a strikingly distinct spectacle as the day concludes. Contrasting our Earth, where sunsets project a warm orange radiance, Martian sunsets envelop the landscape in cool blue shades. What's the reasoning behind this breathtaking view? The secret is in Mars's unique atmosphere. The Martian atmosphere is teeming with tiny dust particles that allow the blue light to pass through, but scatter the warmer spectrum colors, like red, yellow, and orange. As the sun takes its leave, its light has to journey through a thicker expanse of atmosphere, which even more so filters out the other colors. The A Blue Martian Sunset, a sight that's both captivating and peculiar. Picture yourself standing on the Martian surface, observing as the sun descends below the horizon, casting a mystical blue illumination all over the landscape. Isn't that a spellbinding and unusual sight to envision? So at number nine, have you ever contemplated the amount of trash floating in the cosmos? You may be astonished to discover that space isn't as unblemished as it seems. Space debris, which includes obsolete satellites and decrepit rocket components, presents a hurdle for space missions. This celestial rubbish, often termed space junk, orbits our world at breakneck speeds, converting even the tiniest pieces into high-velocity projectiles. Picture maneuvering through a tempest of metal zipping at over 17,000 miles per hour. Many of these items are leftovers from previous space expeditions, a stark of our journeys into the universe. But why does this matter? because these shards could potentially damage or even annihilate operational satellites and spacecraft. For instance, the International Space Station. As we persist in our cosmic exploits and take advantage of space for technological progress, the issue of space junk is becoming increasingly critical. It appears that space is not as immaculate and vacant as we might perceive. So at number eight, we have, will the footprints of the Apollo astronauts on the moon last forever? Quite a conundrum, isn't it? Let's delve deeper. As a fun fact, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere similar to our Earth. This means it is devoid of weather. No breezy winds, no flowing water, no natural elements that could possibly erode or wash away the footprints. Therefore, in theory, these footprints, those symbolic signs of human progress, could stay unaltered for an unbelievably extensive how extensive, you wonder? Well, According to the scientific community, these footprints might potentially exist for an astonishing hundred million years. Picture that. A hundred million years of lunar chronicles, with the footprints of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin indelibly marked on its surface, standing as a perpetual tribute to human exploration. Now that's quite a heritage. These footprints might be the most enduring evidence of human existence. So at number seven, we have this. What if I told you a year on Venus is shorter than a day on Earth? It might seem like a cryptic riddle, but it's an astounding truth in our solar system. Our neighboring planet Venus has such a leisurely rotation that a day there outlives its own year. To illustrate, Venus takes approximately 243 Earth days to perform a full spin on its axis, which is considered a day on Venus. Yet it takes only around 225 Earth days for it to orbit the Sun and complete its year. This unusual event is due to Venus's sluggish rotation speed in conjunction with its relatively close distance to the Sun. Consequently, a comprehensive day-night cycle on Venus lasts longer than the time the planet takes to orbit the Sun. So, imagine if you were on Venus, you might be blowing your birthday candles out before you even finish your first day. It's fair to say that time indeed behaves in enigmatic ways on other celestial bodies. So, at number six, have you ever wondered, how long could you in space without a suit? Let's dive into this thought. Known as the final frontier, space is a place of severe extremes and inhospitable conditions. It's not just an empty void, but a severe environment that humans are not inherently designed to endure. Picture yourself stepping into the vacuum of space, bereft of any protective gear. 
The sheer absence of oxygen would result in loss of consciousness in approximately 15 seconds, but that's just the beginning. The lack of atmospheric pressure could lead to the fluids in your body boiling at body temperature, causing a grim condition known as ebulism. Add to this the intense radiation from the sun and the bone-chilling cold of the shadowed regions, and it's evident that without a spacesuit, space is nothing less than a brutal and unforgiving domain. So, the grim reality is, a human exposed to the severe conditions of space would survive a mere 15 seconds. In all glory, space remains a hostile place for humans. So at number five, do you know how big the International Space Station is? Let's put it into perspective. Imagine a football field, the kind where 100-yard touchdowns are made. Now take that image and launch it into space. That's roughly the size of the International Space Station. This colossal structure orbiting about 250 miles above Earth is a testament to humans. It's home to a crew of astronauts from around the world, conducting cutting-edge research and experiments that simply can't be done on our home. The station sprawls over an area of about 1.8 acres, which is about the same size as an American football field, including the end zones. It's a combination of science laboratory, living quarters and observatory, all wrapped into one. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember there's a football field-sized station whizzing by overhead. That's quite a large structure floating around in space, isn't it? So at number four, did you know there's a man buried on the moon? Yes, indeed. His name is Eugene Shoemaker, an esteemed geologist who significantly impacted lunar science. Intriguingly, he never had a chance to visit the moon during his lifetime. Shoemaker was a significant figure in the Apollo missions, imparting knowledge about craters to astronauts. But sadly, he was medically unfit to travel into space. In 1997, when he passed into the great beyond, a small portion of his cremated ashes were encapsulated and dispatched aboard the Lunar Prospector spacecraft. In apt homage, the spacecraft was purposefully crashed into the moon, rendering the sole human to have their remains interred on an extraterrestrial body. His ashes now rest in a crater near the lunar south pole. Therefore, while Shoemaker might not have reached the moon in life, he undoubtedly has in death. Now that's a uniquely extraordinary final resting place. So, at number three, we have Lego figures orbiting Jupiter. That's right, out in the infinity of the cosmos, three minuscule Lego figurines are on a journey unlike any other. These aren't your run-of-the-mill Lego pieces. They're crafted from aluminium, not plastic, and they embody the Roman god Jupiter, his consort Juno, and Galileo Galilei, the astronomer who discovered Jupiter's significant moons. Courageous tiny voyagers were launched into the cosmos by NASA in 2011 during the Juno mission to examine Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetic field, and structure. Now why LEGO figures, you may ask? Well, it was a collaborative venture between NASA and the LEGO group to kindle a love for science, technology, engineering, and math in quite an innovative approach to motivate the forthcoming brigade of scientists, don't you reckon? While we Earthlings grapple with the confines of gravity and atmosphere, these Lego figures are embarked on a ceaseless space talk about adventurous Lego figures. So, at number two, can you believe our sun is actually losing one billion kilos per second? It might be difficult to comprehend, but it's part of the sun's natural cycle. While it may sound alarming, the sun, just like other stars, sheds mass through a process called nuclear fusion. To understand this better, think of the sun's core, a nuclear reactor. Under immense pressure and temperature, hydrogen atoms present here are compelled to combine and form helium. This process, referred to as nuclear fusion, powers the sun and generates the light and heat that nurture life on Earth. However, there's a twist to this tale. During the fusion process, a minuscule fraction of the sun's mass is transformed into energy, as depicted by Einstein's renowned equation, E arched mc2. The sun's weight loss is attributed to this conversion of mass into energy. Strange as it may sound, our sun is gradually incinerating itself. This colossal weight loss is what keeps our solar system warm and luminous. It's the ultimate sacrifice for life as we know it. So, at number one, do you have any idea which space mission holds the record for being the most expensive in history? Let's make a trip down memory lane, back to the days of NASA's space shuttle program. This colossal project, running from 1972 to 2011, still holds the title for the priciest space mission ever undertaken. Tipping the scales at a whopping $209 billion, it was by no means an insignificant investment. 
You may be curious, what did this mammoth program manage to accomplish? Beyond the confines of our planet's atmosphere, the Space Shuttle program was instrumental in deploying a multitude of satellites, performing an innumerable amount of scientific experiments and making substantial contributions to the building of the International Space Station. The program also laid the groundwork for international collaboration in space. It's due to this program that we have witnessed unparalleled international alliances, such as the one that gave birth to the International Space Station. However, it serves as a chilling reminder that delving into the enigmatic void of space, while thrilling, can come with a staggering cost. The price of space exploration is indeed quite steep. So, those were our top 10 lesser known facts about space. From blue sunsets on Mars to the billion kilos the sun loses every second, the cosmos never ceased to amaze with its mysteries. Remember, there's still so much more we've yet to uncover about the universe. Feel free to share any intriguing space facts you might know. Let's continue this journey of discovery together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe for more awesome daily content.